Lady Longton Marsh. So I will say right from the outset that this is a product review. Um, so I know that can be a bit of a bone of contention with a lot of you, um, but I feel it's quite important. But don't turn off just yet because there's a couple of thank yous I want to make um, before I go on to that. Um, the channel has grown fantastically and I'm so proud that I actually started it. Um, I'm so pleased at all the people that have got in touch, made comments, took the time out of the day to watch the videos. It's just staggering really. So thank you to everybody over the last 12 months that's made this possible. Without you guys, I probably would have stopped by now. And it's the, it's the comments that really drive you um, when you have a channel like this. It, they, they just mean so much. Hang on, bit of a ditch. So a big thank you to everybody. Like I say, over the last 12 months, it's been amazing. Um, but what really struck me just recently is that over Christmas, several of you got in touch to say, where the heck are you? We've not seen any videos for a while. We were actually concerned about whether anything had happened to me. I mean, that's quite overwhelming. So thank you, you guys that got in touch privately and messaged me asking to see how I was. Well, in respect of that, I have to say I've got two videos ready to go. One of them is on this beautiful marsh. I know it looks pretty desolate, but really important for birds. Very rich in wildlife. Very windy today. Um, but yeah, two videos ready to go. I'm just waiting for the right light. They'll be out with a bit of luck in the near future. So the thank yous that I'd like to say to photographers. Now, there's two photographers who have recently helped me and I'm really, really grateful. Very grateful, in fact. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> They feel that they want to help me, but they have, um, or why they needed to help me, but they have. Um, the first photographer is David Dixon. Now, David has got a YouTube channel and it's absolutely fantastic. I love watching his videos, look forward to them every time he brings one out. Um, David's got an atmosphere all to his own on his videos. I think he's got a very creative um, streak in him when it comes to filming. and. They're just, I don't know, there's just something that sets him apart in my opinion. But what did it for me just recently is that David felt the need to give his top 10 YouTube photographers a shout out and that's that's so generous and it's very, very typical of him from what I can see. And uh, I was one of them, so thank you ever so much, David. That was really appreciated and hopefully this is reciprocating um, for that now. Um, David's channel is pretty much all about him and his journey as a photographer and how he's growing and it's a fairly new channel and it is growing all the time so head over to David's channel link to it here and um, I'll put a link down in the description below the second photographer that I want to chat about is Adam Gibbs Adam's a Canadian photographer who's just recently moved to Vancouver Island from Vancouver and if you haven't seen his videos they're just staggeringly gorgeous uh, that place has got something, I'll tell you. Vancouver Island and Vancouver, what fantastic scenery. Um, Adam does a lot of woodland landscapes and he does a lot of mountain landscapes, does a lot of hiking. If you see what he carries on a daily basis, you'll be amazed. You've staggered, in fact. I've seen him carrying two rucksacks on his back at one time. Um, pretty fit guy. But I contacted Adam just recently to say I was struggling with my Mavic drone in terms of quality of, of the... Uh, the output and I'd seen what Adam had produced and I thought I'd just send him a cheeky email and see if he can send me any pointers. Well he couldn't do enough for me. He emailed me about four times with lots of different ideas and settings and uh, basically just couldn't do enough and I'm really grateful for that so thank you, thank you, thank you Adam. That was very much appreciated so hopefully my drone footage will be somewhere maybe a little bit nearer to yours. Um, in the near future going forward. So yeah, that, that was very much appreciated and it was something you didn't really have to do, so thank you. Um, and I think that's it. Um, without further ado, here is the product review. Now it's basically a review of this jacket that I'm wearing today. Now if you've watched all my earlier videos, you'll see that I frequently wear a dark green olive jacket and the, the product is Country Innovation. Now you can see the logo um, down there, Country Innovation. And I've been wearing the um, jackets for about 10 years now, well one jacket actually, the, the, uh, the Innovation jacket, and it's been fantastic. And when they contacted me before Christmas to ask me if I'd review um, this new jacket, I thought, why not? What harm can it do? Um, 
over the years YouTube has helped me immensely when buying new kit and I think it's got a lot of value to add uh, you don't have to watch it um, to tell it to you but if you're in the market for a new item of clothing windproof waterproof breathable jacket this is something worth considering so I'm gonna put that on now hope you enjoy and I'll see you all again in the very near future bye for now What a fantastic day for a hike. Mind you, the conditions up there right now are pretty bleak, I have to say. So my name is Simon Booth, and professionally I work as an ecologist, but in my spare time, there's nothing more I love than to get out and about shooting landscape photographs. And today I've been up there um, trying to find a new location for a potential new view. Um, but how important is kit on days like today? It's blowing a gale, um, there's quite a lot of snow showers blowing in and you really need to feel protected at all times. Now this jacket that I'm wearing is the Country Innovation Innovation Jacket. Now sadly they don't make it anymore but what a jacket it has been. It's absolutely fantastic. I've worn it in all conditions and over the 10 years that I've had it it's not once let me down. I have to say I don't treat it too well. Country Innovation tell me that I should proof the jacket regularly and I should wash it quite regularly as well. I've probably washed it only about five times in the 10 years that I've had it. Quite embarrassing really, but there you go. Now Country Innovation has said that the new replacement for this jacket is the Linnet. Now they very kindly sent me um, one of those Linnet jackets to try out and about while I'm taking landscape photographs to see how I get on with it. So stick around for the next few days and let's see how it performs. I've been out and about in this woodland shooting landscapes for the last two days and yesterday it was just awful, the weather was terrible, wind and rain like you wouldn't believe. Um, but all the time I was wearing the linnet jacket and I was completely protected. So I want to talk about the jacket and some of the features that it has, hopefully I can remember them all, there's so many to go through. Starting with the material, you've got that typical lovely olive green that Country Innovation have always stood by, perfect for blending into the countryside. Um, the coat is waterproof, breathable and, um, and windproof at the same time. Um, it's virtually rustle free, um, ideal for when you're wanting to keep quiet and not disturb wildlife, things like that. Um, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down and try a methodical approach to this jacket because like I said there's so many features it's going to be easy to forget any one of them. So starting with the hood. The hood like my other jacket is enormous and I love this feature, I love feeling protected um, around the head and face area. You've got a nice volume adjustment at the top um, and you could easily fit a helmet in here if you wanted to. You've got a double chin guard at the front to keep your face nice and warm and you've got the nice elasticated drawstrings at the side um, to, to further create a better snug fit. What you get with a lot of hoods these days is that um, when you turn your head inside them you end up looking at the side of your actual hood rather than turning your head around while you're moving and this jacket fits so well that you can actually move your head around whilst you're wearing it. Um, wired peak at the top so even in the worst of gale force winds this hood's not going to flap around so perfect hood. The fact that you can actually remove the hood as well is another bonus, so it's a removable hood, um, absolutely fantastic. Fleecy collar, keep your head and neck nice and protected when you've got your hood up, um, makes for a nice all-in-one unit. Um, you've got a double storm flap all the way down the front of the jacket to keep the wind and rain out. Um, in terms of fit, 
the jacket fits beautifully. You lift your arms up, it stays connected with your body. Um, you've also got a nice long back, so that when you do lift your arms up, your bum doesn't become unprotected. Um, you've got drawstrings in the centre and at the bottom, so you can adjust the amount of heat that's moving around your body. Velcro tabs on the arms. My other jacket used to have studs, and I have to say, occasionally, um, I felt a little bit of wind going up these, but these new Velcro tabs are ideal. Now let's talk about pockets. This jacket is absolutely laden with pockets. I'm going to start at the front. Just at the front here you've got two chest pockets and both these pockets have got weatherproof zips. They're ideal for keeping mobile phones, car keys, things like that. Um, both of them absolutely weather sealed so you've no worries about equipment getting wet and being damaged. Behind the double storm flap you've got a nice big map pocket for your ordnance survey map there. Um, moving further down, you've got the cargo pockets. Now the cargo pockets are amazing. You'd be, you'd be staggered at what you can fit in these. Yesterday, I was able to put my entire filter wallet in there during um, a heavy rain downpour, and it kept it completely dry, so perfect. Two of those with pockets that expand um, as, as they need to. At the sides of those pockets, you've got these lovely big hand warmer pockets. Now my other jacket used to have these as well. And this is one of the features that I really loved about my jacket. Um, you're standing around for long periods of time, you can keep your hands nice and warm in these. But what Country Innovation have also done is they've now put the stormproof zips on either side of them. Um, internally, you've actually got another pocket. I almost forgot that. You've also got another pocket just inside here. And this is like a mesh, um, mesh pocket that's held with a little Velcro tab. And that's ideal for putting things like base layers, socks, or waterproof trousers, anything like that. And last but not least, you've also got another single pocket right inside um, where you could put your wallet. But all in all, absolutely filled with features. Um, this is a real cracking jacket. And I, for one, give it a big thumbs up. Um, perfect for any outdoor environment or any outdoor enthusiast. And if that doesn't convince you, Country Innovation have said that for every linnet jacket sold, they will kindly donate £10 to the Simon King Wildlife Foundation.